Hi, my name is Mandy Bryce and I am a makeup artist in California and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Menagy, which is a makeup line for men specifically. To give you a little bit on what to expect, first I'm going to kind of walk you through the different product options there are, then I'm going to tell you how to choose them, and then I'm going to bring in a model, aka my husband, and show you how to use these products. Now. Makeup on men is a little bit of a newer thing as far as public consumption. People have been doing it for years for television and movies, and that is where some of my experience comes from. I have worked with people that you might know of, such as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Jerry Rice, Brent Musburger, Joe Buck, Judd Apatow, Pete Holmes, the list goes on and on. It is definitely becoming more and more normal for men to wear makeup. I think some of this is because now all of us are subject to HD video, even your phone, your computer, if you're doing Zoom meetings, if you're on dating apps, you are being photographed or video recorded in HD a lot more. And it makes sense that you wanna look your best, so you might wanna use some products made for men whose skin is a little bit different so that you can look your best and then feel your best. A lot of what I actually end up doing is bringing more confidence to men because they know that they look great, so then they feel better to get on camera. So hopefully I can help you do that too from afar, especially since you're probably shopping online and you can't test things the way that you normally would. So let me tell you a little bit about products and a little bit about what you should do to prepare yourself to use them. First things first is you should always use clean surfaces. So even before all of this outbreak and everything, I always tell people to wash their hands before they touch their faces, as well as to make sure that you've washed your face. So you wanna prep your skin. The way that I recommend doing so is using a cleanser every day of some sort, and Menagy does have a face and body scrub. Since it is a scrub, that means it exfoliates or takes off dead skin. I would only recommend using it two or three times a week, so you might want to consult with a dermatologist if you have problematic skin or access to great health care or a friend who is savvy with skincare that can recommend a good cleanser for your skin type. So always cleanse your skin. And then you also want to use a moisturizer. Menagee has a tinted moisturizer if you want that with a little bit of oomph to make sure that your discoloration, your even tone. I'll show you how to do that as well with the Urban Camouflage and with the powders. But if you don't have that, you can also use a normal moisturizer that is meant for your face. Now, one thing you might be thinking is that if you already have oily skin, you don't want to use a moisturizer. That's actually a myth. Your skin will produce less oil if it has moisturizer from a moisturizer that you put on. So even if you have oily skin, you want to put moisturizer on. And anytime you're using Menagy products or any other products that you're putting on your face, you want to start with at very least cleansed and moisturizing. Now there's also a deep cleansing mask from Menagy that you can try. Um, this again is something one or two times a week, not something you would use every day, but it deep cleans your pores. It's really good for you. I strongly recommend that as well. So those are a couple of the prep products. There is also the 911 eye gel, and this is a great moisturizer for around the eye area. It's often one of the first places that we show signs of aging. So if that's you, you might want to use this. And I would say that I have never heard anyone say they wish they would have waited longer before they started taking care of their skin. So even if you're not showing signs of aging, using it now can help you prohibit signs of aging or delay signs of aging. And who doesn't want that? So I will show you those things. My husband will come down and he will be my model. I can show you a little bit how to choose the different products, but let me tell you a little bit about them first. So. I told you about the different prep products. There's also, whoop, there's also this liquid powder shine eliminator. One of the things that is my biggest job when I am working with men, especially on camera, is eliminating shine because it can be really distracting if you see somebody's head flashing white on a picture or in a video or on television. So this product helps eliminate that. 
It also helps me not have to watch so closely on set because once I do the makeup at the beginning, then I'm just waiting for people's hair to get messed up or waiting for their skin to get shiny. And you don't want the director yelling your name to come and blot people or put powder. So this helps a, a ton in that. So if you live somewhere humid, if you tend to have oilier skin and you don't want it to reflect on camera, this is your BFF. Menagee also has a great lip balm and an awesome shave product, which is a three-in-one formula, and it helps you shave anytime. You don't need to do all of the lather business, so this is something else to try. Now, if you stick around until the end, I have a discount code that you can use that I will share with you. It'll save you 20%, so stay tuned for that. But one more quick tour of the products before my husband comes. There are six different colors of Urban Camouflage. Here they are from lightest to darkest. You can use them for different purposes. You might need two colors depending on the different issues you want to address. So there are those. And then these hockey puck things, which would be a lot harder to show all at once, are different high shine, anti shine products. So these are different powders that you can use and I will show you a di few different ways that you can use them to even out your skin tone, to cover up any blemishes, scars, dark circles that you might have, as well as to help keep that shine at a minimum, especially like I said, if you live somewhere hot and humid, your face might get a little shinier quicker than people who live in colder or drier climates. So. Those are the products that I am going to give you a tour of once I have my model here, and I hope you enjoy. And again, a reminder, stay tuned until the end. I will share a discount code with you that will help you save some money. All right, thank you. All right, so I am back with my husband and handsome model, Tommy. Thank you so much for being here and lending me your handsome face. One thing that I didn't share is that I've actually created an online makeup school, and one of the things that I teach in it is why people might wear makeup. I already mentioned that it helps people feel more confident when they look their best. But one thing that I didn't mention is that generally when women put on makeup, it is for evolutionary reasons because we pick our mates based on who we would be best to have children with. And that is often based upon the different factors of health. So having clear skin makes us look healthier. Having under eyes that are bright makes us look more awake and healthier. And of course, this is for heteronormative relationships, but it always helps to kind of go know where the standards of attraction come from. And that's kind of going to be what will guide us in our goals when we are picking products today. So as I mentioned, of course, you always want to start with clean hands. Tommy has a clean skin. He just washed his face. He just moisturized. So we're ready to go. I always wash my hands, but I always spray hand sanitizer on them before I start, just to kind of make my models more comfortable so they know that I'm keeping their sanity and their safety and health in mind. So I mentioned that there is the 911 eye gel. Whenever you're doing anything around your eyes, you want to use your ring finger or a brush. The reason for this is because the skin around your eyes is the most delicate and you never want to push hard or pull on the skin because that is what helps it lose elasticity and then what makes you look older faster than you want to. So I'm just going to tap on this eye gel and this is going to help him have moisturized skin right there and we are going to be putting some urban camouflage in that spot so that he looks like he got a little more sleep last night. And I'm just gently patting it on and it kind of disappears into the skin. So that's moisturizing. And then, like I said, a product that is fantastic that saves me so much time on set is the Liquid Powder Shiny Eliminator. This you can put on throughout the day if you need to. Just kind of can check your skin. A little bit goes a long way. And throughout the day you can kind of peek at how it looks, but then you just kind of are gonna rub it in anywhere that you might get oily. A lot of times where that is for most people is the area that's called the T-zone, and it's called that because it's shaped like a T on your face. So I'm just gonna apply that to Tommy's forehead, 
and you may be able to see it in the camera, but it kind of has a mattifying effect. You can reapply this if you need to. You can put it on, on top of your Menagy products if you need to, and it just kind of maps it out so that it's not shiny, like I said, which can be distracting in pictures and on camera. The next thing I'm going to look at is the camouflage. Now, it comes in six different shades, and of course you can see they're from light to dark, so light is toward me and then deep is toward Tommy. And if you have very fair skin or very dark skin, it's probably pretty easy to choose what color you would need. You might be able to tell if you're good at color theory that some of them have pinker tones in them. Those are more for under eye, whereas there are some neutral colors as well as some that have more of like a yellow tone in it. And those would be to cover any blemishes, any scars, or to just kind of even out the skin tone. Now, like I said, it's pretty obvious these colors who they would work for. So somebody very dark like Akon or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar would use something like this. And I would probably use this one because I'm pretty fair. This is light. And then Tommy here is multiracial and on the darker side. So I would use one of these four. I know him, so I know that he is a sand this time of year and that he would be a little bit uh, darker as the summer goes on. Of course, using sunscreen, not getting too dark, but you would choose something that is the closest to your skin. One tip that I give to go for whether or not to go with the ones that have the pink tone versus the neutral tone is thinking about jewelry you like to wear. So if you like to wear silver, because that looks best with you, you probably want the pinker tones. If you like to wear gold, you're a warm. So that would be the colors that have like a yellow tone to them. You can also look at your veins if you can see them. If they are more blue, you're more likely a cool tone, so the pinks. If they are green, then you have a warm tone, so then you would go with the ones like the olive that have the yellow in them. So for under eye, some people like to do a tone that's a little bit lighter, and like I said, has the pink in it. I'll show you both. I personally like using the closest match possible because I think it can sometimes look like a reverse raccoon eye if you go too light. But this is the sand color. And like I said, you're gonna use your clean ring finger on clean and moisturized skin. And then you're just gonna kind of warm it up on there and then open and look up. And you're just gonna tap where it looks a little bit darker. So you don't want it to be like a overly made up look. You just want it to look like he magically got to sleep in until noon today or something. So why don't you go ahead and look at the camera. It doesn't look like, whoa, he's wearing makeup. It's just like, oh, wow, he must really have a good mattress and pillow and get good sleep. So that is with the neutral color, the sand that has a little bit of a warmer tone, but you can also use something that's a little bit pinker and these colors are really forgiving. So this is the light, the lightest tone. And I'm gonna kind of clean off that finger so that I don't still have sand on it. And we'll show you this so that you can kind of compare them. The best thing about makeup is that it's pretty easy to fix. It's not a permanent tattoo. So if you need to wipe something off, you can. And you can always blend it so that it looks seamless and natural. Again, you don't wanna like pull on this skin because you don't wanna prematurely age yourself, but you can go like that. Now these products can also be applied directly. I think it would be a little bit much if you did it, but you can put them straight on like this. And then what I would do to make that look a little bit more natural is this is a kabuki brush. It's densely packed. And one thing that I love about it is it gives almost an airbrushed finish. So you can kind of just dab it like this, blend it out. And even though these are two different colors, I don't think you would look at Tommy and say, wow, makeup. And I don't think you would look at him and think, 
his eyes look completely different. It's because it's a very forgiving product and you can get away with just blending, feathering it out so it's more concentrated where it needs to be and then just kind of disappears into the skin everywhere else. All right, so another product that I want, or another use I wanna show you is I'm gonna go back to the sand one because that's a little bit closer match for him. And he has a little scar on his head because he was getting our dog out of a river and got scratched. And I'm just gonna show you how to cover that. This is the same way that you would cover a blemish if you had one. So there is a little spot right here, thank you, where there is some redness from where he hurt himself. Of course, you would not want to put makeup on an open wound, but since it's pretty well healed, you can kind of tap it on. And if he were to just let go of his hair, he would still have the wet makeup there. And so it's possible that that would rub off. What you wanna do to stop that is to set it. And what you can do that with is a powder. Powder is almost like a way to seal in the makeup. So I'm gonna grab medium here. And this is the compact that comes with it. This is a way that you can get a more full coverage and you can just kind of tap it on here. If there's extra, you can tap it and it'll fall back into your makeup. And then we'll just tap it onto this spot gently because it's, it was just last week that he got the dog out of the river. And then that's going to help it stay better. You can use this sponge flat and it also like I told you in the intro before Tommy came down it helps stop shine so you can gently tap it on to stop the shine any areas and again the t-zone is going to be where you are going to most likely put it because that is where you are going to have more moisture than anywhere else then I have the last one I'm going to use is the sunless tan so we're in california a nice california glow works i've actually used the medium powder on a whole set of people for an athletic commercial that's how forgiving it is but you can just put some on here and with any sort of bronzer if you want to have a uh, tan glow you put it where the sun would hit and then like i said makeup's forgiving so if you see when I first put it on, it was a little bit dark. You can just keep brushing it in with a clean brush and that'll blend it in with the rest so that it doesn't stand out so much. You can see it's kind of disappearing into the skin, but he still has that tan glow. Now throughout the day, you can, it has a mirror in it. You can check and see if you need to touch up if you're shiny. Otherwise, it should stay on pretty well, but depending on the humidity, the heat, and how much oil you're producing, you may need to put on more as you go, but that's pretty much how to use it. If you're interested in trying any of these, you use the code MENAGIMANDI, M-E-N-A-J-I-M-A-N-D-I-E. That'll save you 20%. Thanks so much for watching.